Hey guys, Travis here. I've got some cornhole boards that uh, I didn't document the build on the boards, but thought I'd make a video about the, the problem that I was having and the solution that I finally ended up uh, coming to for this. On the bottom of these boards, I've got a trip coming up with some friends. I want to put their company logos at the bottom of these boards. And I wanted to stain them. I wanted to still be able to see the, the wood grain. Didn't want to paint it. And so I based these boards off some videos by a guy on YouTube, uh, has a channel called Cornhole Collective. And he shows using a vinyl mask cut on a vinyl cutter as a stencil and then applying gel stain in order to get his colors. And I, I tried the technique that he used and my problem is stain was bleeding underneath the edge of the mask every time, couldn't get it to work. And so, uh, so I've come up with another solution. I think it actually looks even better than what I expected, but let me show you the problems I was having with the gel stain first. Ignore the cutouts in the wood, it's scrap from another piece of project, but here's gel stain that I've applied and I actually put down a piece of painter's tape right here. Um, and you can see that it bled right up underneath the edges of the painter's tape. And I was, I was pretty careful to, to wipe a, you know, away from the edge of the tape, but still it managed, to, uh, it managed to get up underneath there. So I got to thinking, I have a laser, and I thought that I could use some specific laser masking tape. Not masking tape like you get at your home center, but tape specifically made for a laser. And that if I defocused the laser, I'd get a, a larger kerf, and it would also sever those fibers so that as I applied stain to one part, it didn't have fibers to, to run through and, and bleed. And so that's what I tried here, but you can see it, it, just, it just really didn't work out too well. The stain either, you know, puddled down in the, the groove left by the, the laser and, and it, still managed to, uh, it still managed to bleed a little bit. This was with a particular red tape that I have. Then I tried some different tape here, also with the, the laser defocused so that I got a wide kerf. Didn't care for that. This was using the green tape again, but with the laser in focus, and you can see a pretty fine uh, kerf there, but I was still getting more bleed than, than what I wanted. So the gel stain just wasn't working for me. So I had to figure out something else to try. What I finally ended up with was this product by Transtent. It says it's a concentrated dye solution. It can be mixed up with, uh, with alcohol or water to thin it out. You can you could add it to uh, uh, top coat finishes as well. But what I thought would make this work is if I could mix it with alcohol and spray it. I figured that the, the solution in alcohol would dry quick enough that it just wouldn't have a chance to, to wick through the, uh, the wood fibers. So got this mixed up with some denatured alcohol. Uh, I ran a test piece, but we're going to go ahead and try this out on the, uh, on the actual board here. And I'll show that process and we'll see how that ends up turning out. So here's the bottom of my board. Uh, this is a, a birch plywood, I believe. I've already taken, sanded this down, wiped it off, cleaned it up. And now we're going to apply some of this, uh, this red masking tape and see how, uh, see how this works. I have both red and green masking tape. Uh, the red seems to work much better for this purpose. It's very low tack, so it doesn't pull up the wood fibers. It's also somewhat stiff, making it easy to position with no wrinkles. I'm going to be cutting this mask with a laser, but you could just as easily use a vinyl stencil cut with a vinyl cutter or even hand cut your design. All right, so I've got this set up on the laser. Um, I've never put anything this big in here before, but this laser has a pass-through feature where I can take these two front panels off. There's also a panel in the back, so if you wanted to do the front of a door or something, it'll actually pass through the machine. But uh, I think this is gonna work. Got it set up, squared, made sure the design's where we want it to go, and now we're gonna cut it. With this front panel off, uh, maybe I can actually get some video of that. Now I messed up a couple of things here. I had my air assist unplugged initially, which is why when the cut starts, you see the flame here. 
I also miscalculated the bed height, so the laser was out of focus by about six millimeters. This was really a bit of a problem, and it shows in the final result. But I'm going to go ahead and show how this turned out anyway, as well as my original test piece at the end, showing how it should have looked. See, this red tape is nice. Nice thing is, whatever you spill just evaporates. And this stuff is definitely a concentrate. It doesn't take much. I'm not being very scientific about this, but... Give that a good shake. Ready to spray it on. I'm just using a cheap hobby store airbrush here. I've never understood why the paint container on these airbrushes are open at the top, making it easy to spill whatever it is you're trying to spray. With the alcohol, this stuff is dry almost as soon as it hits the wood. Uh, to me, this is the key for being able to use a mask with, without it bleeding underneath. Um, I really wanted to find a way to tent this without hiding the underlying wood grain and, and also making sure that I didn't get any bleed under. So you can see there's almost a line that runs through where the tape was overlapping. You know, not perfect. This one's got just a little bit more bleed, which I expected because of the deeper burn. But all in all, not a total failure. It'll work. This is my test piece. And you can see that there is, there's, just, there's just almost no bleed whatsoever. I, I credit part of that due to the fact that when the laser cuts the mask, it's also severing the, uh, the wood fibers right there on top. So it's keeping it from, from wicking in there. But it also gives this really nice black hairline outline to the whole thing. That's all done with uh, alcohol dye and tint. Thanks for watching.